What is going on, everybody? So a historical day for the Jacksonville Jaguars and a certain individual last night. Um, this is something that's never happened in the history of the Jaguars, where left tackle Tony Baselli has officially been inducted into the NFL Hall of Fame, the first Jaguar to ever receive that honor. And when it comes to individual accomplishments, this is the number one feat that you can have when it comes to accomplishments as a player. You know, outside of the Super Bowl, this is the highest honor. You know, it's greater than MVP. It's greater than probably even like Super Bowl MVP, maybe. Um, this is a huge award. And Tony Baselli will go down as one of the all-time greats to play the position. And it does kind of stink from my perspective because, as a lot of you guys know, I was born in 93. I feel like I say that a lot. So, really, Antonio Baselli's prime years, you know, from uh, 1995 to 2000, you know, I was, you know, seven, I was seven or younger, you know what I mean? So, I was just trying to learn how to walk and talk and, you know, tie my own shoes. And he's out here. Um, going out and having like a Hall of Fame type of career. Now, the thing that held up Tony Vaselli was not how good of a player he was because he was known as pretty much the best tackle in the 1990s. The, th the thing that held up Tony Vaselli was the fact that he didn't really have a very long career. Um, he, he played seven seasons, but his seventh season, he only played three games. So he essentially has a six-year six sample size. Uh, to put that into reference, his career was as long as Miles Jack's or Yannick Ngakwe's or Jalen Ramsey's career. You know what I mean? So it's a very, very short career. Uh, but it was known that, look, he it's not the Hall of Longevity. It is a Hall of Fame. The greatest players do get in there no matter how long of a time they did it. And Tony Baselli... Uh, finally, after being a finalist six years in a row, I mean, I can't, I mean, I've been following this thing for the last six years and it really did feel like every year, okay, this is the year, okay, this is the year. And then it felt like this year had the most momentum, but I was sitting here like, I don't know, because I've been hearing the same kind of stuff um, the last few years, but I guess they finally got all the offensive linemen in that they wanted to get in. There were also no first ballot Hall of Famers this year, so that one is an interesting one. Um, but yeah, I mean, Tony Baselli's in a Hall of Fame. That's awesome. He'll be in Canton. I really can't wait to hear his speech. I'm usually, I usually don't listen to the Hall of Fame. Just, I don't know. It doesn't, you know, the guys thanking their families and talking about coaches that I didn't really know. You know, what I mean, all that kind of bores me, but I'll definitely be listening closely to Tony Baselli. I love Tony Baselli on the radio. He's extremely insightful. He's, you know, all, all kinds of different programs when it comes to um, Jaguar stuff. So he's definitely a prominent voice in the Jaguars community. So, you know, congrats to him. He shut down a lot of great defensive ends, uh, Bruce Smith, Jason Taylor, uh, guys like this. And uh, this is a huge day for Tony Baselli and as along with Jaguars Nation, man. I mean, that's, I can't believe it took us this long to get a Hall of Famer out here but if we finally got him so now we can focus on trying to get fred taylor and jimmy smith in the hall of fame because i think both those guys those are probably the last two guys that probably had deserving hall of fame careers as jacksonville jaguars so we got to make things right and i think it might be easier for these guys to get in because they had the longevity and also they had the stats i mean wide receiver running back that is a statistical position you know, I mean, you can pull up the stats and, you know, look at where they rank all time. So uh, definitely would like to get them in and give Tony Baselli a little bit of company, uh, repping Teal and Black out there. So, uh, yeah, and a huge shout out to Tony Baselli. Um, extremely happy for him, his family, and for our and for Jaguars Nation. So uh, with all that said, thank you guys for watching. Drop a like for a Tony Baselli shout out and... With all that said, go Jags.